Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, today I want to talk about my Z Fold 3 and a product uh, I'm sure a lot of you know about. It's called the O Snap, uh, but this one's specifically the O Snap 2.0. Um, I've avoided any kind of handle or I guess any, any of these kind of type of situations on my Z Fold, actually for any of my phones. I really don't usually have anything on there because I like them to sit flat. Um, but I have a friend of mine that swears by these O snap um, mounts. And um, so I thought I'd give it a try when, when the 2.0 came out. And what really I like about the 2.0 is it is said to be MagSafe compatible. So it is compatible with Apple's um, magnetic system that they have built into their phones and their in a lot of the cases and um, you know different products mounts you can use um, so that that interested me because I, I have a, a different method that I usually use uh, and that's just using one of these magnetic coils and I'll just stick that right underneath the phone there like that and it will then uh, work just fine I'll put it under the case and it will become MagSafe compatible which works great and I use it mostly for mounting um, you know, not so much charging, but it does work charging just fine. Uh, here's a little MagSafe charger from Apple. Um, and I have uh, a couple other uh, MagSafe uh, charging mounts, I guess, like the Belkin 3-in-1 uh, that I'll drop any of these phones onto the, uh, to charge them overnight. So I thought that would be pretty cool. Maybe I can try two birds with one stone. I'll get like a little cool grip thing um, that's supposed to... Um, you know, also magnetized to metal, so you can you know, just set your phone on top of metal. We'll see how that works, because uh, I don't know if they're, they're thinking about a phone that's heavy. Um, but um, yeah, so it comes with this fancy little thing here that you're supposed to center. Uh, you're supposed to take this off of the grip. I think there's a metal, metal plate here, and then the grip itself, and it says remove liner from back of grip. Center the, this card on the back of the phone. Then press center of grip to apply, remove tool, and massage grip. Do not remove grip for 24 hours. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work, but as I was getting ready for this uh, this um, video, first thing I noticed was, well, this could be a problem. Um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and put this on a case. So this is my later case for um, the Z Fold 3 because I, I just don't have the heart yet to, to mount something like this directly to the phone. <laughs> but so I'm gonna try it on a case first. So then if I, if I don't like it all the time, I can take it off. Uh, but I'm looking at this now and I measure the phone out and it's about 16 uh, centimeters there. Uh, 16 centimeters, so eight centimeters is the center. And if I put this doodad up here like that, obviously this isn't going to work because uh, I can't see anything. Uh, but if, uh, if I put this like this and then I center eight centimeters, you can see where eight centimeters are going to be. That's not going to work. So I think we're going to have to use an alternate method of install for this. And that's literally like, let's just pop this thing out. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at Just pop that doodad out. Okay, so now... Now let's put it, and we're going to put it all the way up to the camera bump. It's going to be easy to center this way because the phone is so narrow. Um, let's go all the way up to the camera bump. And let's see here. We'll give it a good measure. 16. As you can tell here, we are going to be a little off center. That is not, let's see if you can see that. Oops. See that measurement right there. Uh, it's supposed to be 8 to the center. And I think we're going to be a little off center by 3 sixteenths, maybe even a full quarter of an inch. It's hard to tell. Um, and that's pushed all the way up against the camera bump. And so I think I would, because this, this case is so thin, I think I'd have the same problem even if I had you know, mounted this directly to the phone. But we're gonna give it a shot here. You know, it, it, the wireless charging might still work. Uh, sometimes it's picky, sometimes it's not, so. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. We got to take this little doodad off here. Uh -huh, let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay. So that's like an outer. It's like a little Audi sticker. Oh, that's all about. That's uh, still not the sticker. Okay. So got a metal plate here. This is just like the original O snap. I uh, got a, a metal plate, and then the mount magnetizes in the metal plate, and then hopefully 
This has got the magnets going the right direction to where it then magnetizes to MagSafe. We'll take a look and take a see. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to do it. I always feel weird about these kind of permanent installs on these kinds of things. I guess if you don't want to take it off, you're kind of hosed, right? Um, I don't think it matters which way it goes because this pops off. And I'm going to stick that right up against that camera bump. Get it centered left to right. Up and down. All right, let's put it in there. And let's see here. Okay, there we go. I think it's on there. Feels like on there. So the O-Snap grip's got these fancy little, uh, you know, things you can stick it on here like like that so it can be a stand right i think that's pretty cool i definitely think that's pretty cool because i don't have a stand case uh, that i use a lot uh, and that can go on both sides uh, depending how you're doing it uh, let's see if it goes uh, let's see this way oh that's pretty cool let's see if it'll do it open no bink no that's not gonna work Blink. okay that didn't work out very good um, so definitely good here uh, good there and let's see if we open it and if we go this way. Oh, look at there. Yeah, that way works pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm liking this. This is good. This is very good. And then you're supposed to be able to, um, you know, use this as like a phone grip so you can stick your, stick your finger in there somehow and hold it. Okay. I see what you're, I see what we're doing here. E, uh, uh, maybe it goes. We'll just spin this around a little bit here and let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's easier. And then hold. Yeah. That holds it pretty good. Pretty decent. It's like this like little piece of thin rubber. It doesn't look like it's going to hold up at all. It looks like it's going to break, but people use the heck out of these things and they don't break. So we'll see how it works. Uh, but yeah, that, that, uh, that works pretty good right there. I can hold it now. Um, I'm a left-handed phone holder, which is kind of a bummer on the fold. Uh, and that's because the screen is on the left side. And so when I hold it like that, I constantly, my poor front screen just has to get cleaned constantly. I don't know how you guys uh, do it with yours, but it's really not good. Uh, <laughs> I get it dirty all the time. So hopefully maybe this little handle thing here will keep me from doing that. And I'll be able to, um, you know, hold it with my right hand more often. Cool. All right, so that's what it looks like on. Uh, it is pretty thin, but it's not perfectly thin. Let's see if we get a wobble with the, uh, oh yeah, we get a wobble now. That's a bummer. I don't know if I can, I can get used to that, I guess. I guess I can get used to that. But yeah, it's definitely a wobble for sure. Um, if you're using the S Pen and uh, writing on that, it's probably not gonna be super great. Uh, but man, it is, it's pretty thin, but it sure does give it a good wobble. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see if we got some MagSafe action here. Oh yeah, locked right in there. And we're charging, all right, good deal. So it looks like that quarter inch um, uh, is not gonna be a, a deal breaker there. It's gonna be able to charge that. And let's see, we're pretty, oh yeah, it's pretty strong. Actually, it's that's pretty strong. Not, oh yeah, oh shoot. Yeah, that's, that's, whew, okay. Yeah, that's strong. Oh yeah, all right, I'm getting excited. This might work out pretty good. We'll see how it works. Uh, so what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna go uh, roll with this thing for a few days and then I'll come back and finish this video and let everybody know if I was able to make it or break it. Okay, everyone, I am back. So I've been using this for about a week now. It's been on this particular phone the entire time. Uh, I've left this case on with this attached and uh, yeah, I've been trying I've been trying it out left it on the whole time and uh, Yeah, there's uh, I definitely have an opinion on it. I definitely like it. It's uh, very useful I can kind of see now why people uh, think this thing is pretty cool um, So I'm gonna go through some of the things that I really liked about it and then some of the things uh, I did not like about it uh, first thing uh, as a grip right it's the o-snap grip so you can just just kind of you get kind of used to putting your finger in there and holding it like that uh, get your finger kind of tucked underneath there and they, then you can use your phone for pretty much anything you want to after that um, and just hold it with one hand it works pretty well uh, it definitely holds as you can tell it's not going to fall out of your hand and what wasn't worried about. I could even um, you know, not even grab the phone and just hold it. And I wasn't worried about it coming off. It worked really good. Uh, more importantly, I wanted it for, um, 
the uh, unfolded so I can uh, kind of get in the habit of holding my uh, phone with my my right hand instead of my left hand all the time and it definitely was successful for that as you can see here it works pretty good uh, it kind of holds it on there just fine no problem and depending on how I want to hold it and even I could e even if I did get tired with my left hand my right hand got tired if I was reading a book or something I can still switch it over to my left hand and now I have it kind of popped in there in my left hand and gives me a little grip on uh, my left hand too so I don't have to hold the phone it could just kind of rest and I'm not worried about it flying out or uh, you know coming out so as advertised it works really good for that uh, very impressed uh, the other thing that uh, I really liked about it is uh, what I discussed earlier was the MagSafe uh, use of this so now because you can use any kind of MagSafe accessory uh, works really good so you can just pop it right on there and so this is a MagSafe charger um, and it worked pretty well uh, no problem definitely can mount um, mount whatever you want to um, onto the back of that you can uh, even with the the thing off and you just have the ring even that still works pretty decent not too bad i mean it's not as good um, but it's still pretty tight on there so that works really good if you have that off um, so again um, yeah so magsafe stuff worked really well um, you can adjust this any way you want to because it's just magnetized on there you can pull it off um, uh, works really good uh, one thing I really liked about it being able to come off is because one thing I was worried about and I was accurate on was um, on the f on the table it is definitely floppy here and, and I don't like the floppy um, because I do use my S Pen so if I'm using the S Pen it's gonna be like that but one, one thing if I'm gonna use the S Pen for a, a decent period of time I just take this off and then it's not bad at all it's definitely usable now um, so yeah I can totally um, I can totally just sit here and use it no problem now um, so yeah excellent 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 uh, so that was definitely a plus I really like that uh, and I just try to stick this in my pocket when I took it off so I didn't forget about it <laughs> lose it somewhere because that'd be a bummer um, but really cool you can buy these rings um, separately so if you wanted to you know stick one of these on if you use different cases um, or if you want to put it right onto the phone but you still uh, want to wear a case every once in a while uh, you can do that and then just keep using the same grip and again like I said you can rotate this grip uh, anytime you want to and then the other really awesome part is the stand so uh, because you can rotate this any way you want to you can use it as a stand I used it as a stand uh, many times uh, it's pretty handy I actually have a stand that I use um, and I didn't have to use it at all because of this uh, so you can kind of use it uh, folded or not folded um, depending how you want to do it you can't use it like this at all that didn't work at all uh, you can go like this so if you want just like a slight um, just a slight angle it works really good for that uh, actually I would probably switch it to the other side because you can you can put it on each side and there you go then it, it works really good you can it, it holds it really nice um, so if you wanted to do that uh, that would be awesome worked really good and then um, if you want to like I said if you wanted to have it the other direction then you can just kind of pop it on there and you can have it like that watch your video works really good and put it the other way and it doesn't work as good this way actually uh, actually this one if i go that direction so I forgot about that if you go that direction then it works perfect so you can sit straight up here i can watch a video the whole time um, i can get my keyboard out type away uh, works really good um, yeah so that part functionality is fantastic uh, and then pops right back down and then you are good to go and you can get the heck out of here because like I said that's pretty thin and if you want it even thinner for whatever reason you can take that off and that that metal plate on there is really thin all right so great great device I used it uh, quite a bit I really like it um, now some of the flaws with it uh, flaw number one is uh, it's a Z Fold 3 flaw so because we can't get this uh, mount directly in the center I did have issues with some of my chargers that would not uh, charge wireless chargers uh, no matter what I did uh, whether I took this grip off and just had the plate but it was just far enough off 
it didn't work. Um, MagSafe charger, uh, this particular, the, the Apple MagSafe charger worked okay. Um, my Belkin 3-in-1 charger, although it popped on there really good, um, it, it worked really good. So I think the mag, mag chargers themselves, because they're perfectly lined up in the center, will work. Uh, but man, I'm telling you, I don't know why, but I have a Samsung Duo charger and uh, a couple other wireless chargers and it just would not work. It starts to charge and then stops. So that's, that's kind of a bummer and a downfall there. So, you know, as long as I just use these kind of chargers, it works pretty good. Uh, the second thing that uh, um, I didn't like about it is something I did like about it. So this part right here is really tight. So it is tight. I can't see if you can see that. Depending on the size of your finger, uh, it is uh, really tight and after a period of time you feel that on your finger um, I'm not sure if the original I heard the original one wasn't as bad but if I'm holding this for a long period of time especially because I got it like a little bit out of an angle there um, if I feel it like you can I'm not saying it makes your finger number or anything but you can definitely feel it it's a little bit uncomfortable um, so I didn't like that very much um, at all uh, the other thing I didn't like about it uh, again was uh, the flat uh, you can't leave it flat you got to pull that piece off but you know got to work around for that so that wasn't too bad and then the other thing uh, was the mounting so uh, like you see here if I have like a, a standard uh, a mag mag safe charger or something like that it comes right off no problem uh, however this is a horrible um, car mount so this is my car mount so this piece locks into my magnetic mount that I had on my my Jeep already and then this part right here is MagSafe. Um, I think I got a video on this already, actually. But anyways, um, this one, so it's a mount and it's a car mount. So it's a little bit stronger than, say, the wireless charger because this is just a charger where it's just designed to, you know, line up is what you need that for. So when you put this on here, uh, what happens is when you pull your phone off, the little thing comes off too and you're just left with the mag thing here. Um, I, I jumped out of my car a couple times without this piece and I can tell you right now, once once that's on there, it is really uh, kind of a pain in the butt to get off. Um, and so th that was definitely a problem. Uh, anything that's stronger than the standard MagSafe, this is not gonna, this will come off with it. So just forewarn that. Uh, depending on what kind of mount you use if you use a magsafe mount uh, that's just going to come right off uh, so that was definitely a bummer so uh, one of the questions somebody asked me uh, on something different was um you know whether those magnets messed with the uh, the s-pan at all and it really doesn't um, you can tell i'm going to just go straight right over where those magnets are at no problems at all um, it works just fine so that is not a problem um and then just a side note um if you take this piece off and you have a uh, magsafe compatible uh case like this one here the pataka s22 ultra case this will actually just lock right onto that back of that case without the the metal plate um so you can still use that as a grip here um so that's pretty cool without using the metal plate. It's not as strong. I can tell you it's not nearly as strong. I think if I like put this off, it'll take it off. See, it's not as strong, but it's still, uh, it seemed to work good enough for me to where I was pretty uh, confident that it's gonna hold the phone and I wasn't worried about it uh, coming off. So that is, that is pretty cool. Anyways, side note. But that's the O-Snap 2.0 on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.